Hello, I'm Lizzie Wilberforce and I work for Plant Life in Wales. So today we're going to talk about mistletoe, which has to be one of our most recognised British plants. And what a time of year to talk about it. It's Christmas. It's when we all see mistletoe on our Christmas cards and in house decorations. And that's because it's known as the kissing plant because of this history and tradition in Britain of kissing under the Christmas mistletoe. We're not quite sure where that comes from, but we think it's to do with its um, appearance in myth and legend over many hundreds of years as a symbol of fertility and of love. Of course, mistletoe is very culturally valuable because it's so popular at Christmas. Um, it's harvested and it's been over the last hundred years or so, have been a, a very high value for people who are able to supply that Christmas market. And although its distribution in the Britain is very, very heavily concentrated on the Southwest Midlands and the Welsh borders area, it occurs in lots of other places in England and Wales, partly because it had financial value to people who could grow it to sell it for Christmas. So mistletoe actually harbours a little bit of a secret and rather ironically, given that the species is seen as this symbol of love and affection, it's actually parasitic on the trees on which it grows. So whilst a mistletoe is able to photosynthesize and produce some of its own energy, it actually sends shoots into the bough of the tree on which it's growing and it takes quite large volumes of water and nutrients from the tree. So it does depend on the tree for its survival. And actually, if a tree gets very heavy growth of mistletoe that isn't managed, it can ultimately kill the tree. So although mistletoe is seen as this symbol of love and we see it as the kissing plant, being in a relationship with mistletoe isn't actually great for that tree in the long run. Um, it's a rather different definition of a relationship. So one of the features of mistletoe's ecology is that it doesn't spread terribly fast. And that's because the seeds are spread by birds. And birds in winter, when the seeds are ripe, they're very territorial about where they get their food. So they will, a bird that's feeding on the mistletoe will defend that tree. And it consumes or uh, the berries and it either consumes the seeds and takes the seeds into its body and then spreads them to excretion. Or in the case of small birds like black caps, the seeds get stuck to their faces and they wipe them off on another tree. It means they don't spread very far because those birds are very much defending the resource that they're feeding on in the winter. So that's our plant of the month, the magical mistletoe. Um, when you're at your Christmas parties this year and you're standing under the mistletoe, maybe you'll think about its weird and fascinating life history and the trees that it came from in our countryside. Nadolig Slawen, happy Christmas.